Hey everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO of Motoroso.com, your dedicated auto parts marketplace. And we're back in the studio today with our 2019 Raptor Bolt-On build, and we're gonna be installing the Vengeance rear bumper with six inch LED lights, and this is your installation guide. We made a product spotlight about the bumper in another video, so we'll put the link to that in the description. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got lots more mods coming on our Raptor Bolt-On build, and we've also got our C8 Corvette in-house now, and we're starting that build series as well. Now, of course, you can shop for this bumper and over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices, and the shipping is always free with no minimum at Motoroso.com. Let's get started. Tools you'll need for this job include a 45 Torx, a ratchet, a 16 millimeter socket, a six inch extension, 16 millimeter combo wrench, a flathead, and a panel puller. First, remove the license plate from your OEM bumper. Use the hidden key within the key fob to remove the spare tire access hole plug. Remove the seven-way tow connector by reaching behind the bumper and pinching the clips and pushing it through the bumper, then simply press down on the connector and disconnect. Begin removing the bumper by pulling up on the plastic bumper cover, making sure not to damage your reverse sensors. Disconnect the two license plate lights and the two reverse sensor wiring harnesses, leaving the sensors in the bumper cover. Remove the six 45 Torx bolts across the front of the bumper, followed by removing the three 45 Torx bolts from the backside on each side of the bumper. Remove the wiring harness for the reverse sensors with the bumper removed from the chassis on both sides. Transfer the four reverse sensors over to the new Fab Force bumpers with the OEM housing using a flathead screwdriver to press the OEM housings out of the OEM bumper. Line up the housings correctly and press them into your new Fab Force bumper. To install the new license plate lights, cut back the wire sheathing revealing the blue and black wires. Connect the supplied lock splice connectors and press the supplied red wire to the blue wire and connect black to black.
Install the new license plate lights in the Fab Four's bumper using the supplied 3mm Allen and 10mm nut. Unclip the remainder of the wiring harness from both sides of the chassis to have a little bit more freedom when plugging everything back in once the bumper is installed. Begin the bumper install by plugging in the license plate lights. Remove the two OEM mounting brackets with a Torx 45 socket. Hang the bumper into position by letting it sit on the OEM tow bar. Line up the bolt holes and slide the supplied 16mm nuts and bolts, making sure to have the washer, then crush washer on the nut side. With all the bolts in place, move the bumper into a desired position and begin tightening down the mounting bolts using a 16mm open end wrench and a 16mm socket. With the bumper tightened down, begin plugging in the wiring harness on both sides of the bumper and zip tie the excess wire up and out of the way. Plug in the seven way connector and press it back into the bumper until it clicks. Reinstall the spare tire plug by using the hidden key in your key fob. Make sure to pop in the four clips for the license plate and you're all done with your install. All right, that wraps up the installation of our Fab Fours Vengeance rear bumper on our 2019 Raptor bolt-on build. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we got lots more mods coming on this Raptor plus our 2020 C8 Corvette. And of course, you can shop for all your parts and accessories at Motoroso.com where you can browse over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free with no minimum. We're totally stoked about how this Vengeance rear bumper looks. Unfortunately, we weren't able to install the six inch light bars. They just didn't fit. So we're gonna measure those up and find another set that fits and install those a little later. Thanks for watching.